Two of Everything, a Chinese folktale, retold and illustrated by Lily Toy Hong. Once long ago, in a humble little hut, lived Mr. Hot Tuck and his wife, Mrs. Hot Tuck. They were old and very poor. What little they ate came from their tiny garden. In a lucky year, when the harvest was plentiful, Mr. Hot Tuck had a little extra to take to the village. There he traded turnips, potatoes, and other vegetables for clothing, lamp oil, and fresh seeds. One spring morning, when Mr. Hot Tuck was digging in his garden, his shovel struck something hard. Puzzled, he dug deeper into the dark ground until he came upon an ancient pot made of brass. How odd, said Mr. Hot Tuck to himself, to think that I have been digging here all these years and never came upon this pot before. I will take it home. Maybe Mrs. Hot Tuck can find some use for it. The pot was big and heavy for old Mr. Hot Tuck. As he stumbled along, his purse, which contained his last five gold coins, fell to the ground. He tossed it into the pot for safekeeping and staggered home. His wife greeted him at the door. Dear husband, what a strange pot. Mr. Hot Tuck explained how he found the pot. I wonder what we can do with it, said Mrs. Hot Tuck. It looks too large to cook in and too small to bathe in. As Mrs. Hot Tuck leaned over to peer into the pot, her hairpin, the only one she owned, fell in. She felt around in the pot and suddenly her eyes grew round with surprise. Look, she shouted, I've pulled out two hairpins, exactly alike, and two purses too. Sure enough, the purses were identical and so were the hairpins. Inside each purse were five gold coins. Mr. Hot Tuck was so excited, he jumped up and down. Let's put my winter coat inside the pot. If we are lucky again, the pot will make two coats. And then we will both stay warm. So into the pot went one coat, and out came two coats. They began to search the house and quickly put more things into the magical pot. Mm, if only we had some meat, wished Mr. Hot Tot, or fresh fruit, or one delicious sweet cake. Mrs. Hot Tuck smiled. Hmm. I know how we can get anything we want, she said. She put their ten coins into one purse. Then she threw it into the pot. She pulled out two purses with ten coins in each. What a clever wife I have, cried Mr. Hot Tuck. Each time we do this, we will have twice as much money as before. The Hot Tucks worked late into the night, filling and emptying the pot until the floor was covered with coins. Morning came. And off went Mr. Hot Tuck with a long list of things to buy in the village. Instead of vegetables, his basket was full of gold coins. 
Mrs. Hawk Talk finished all of her chores and sat down to enjoy a cup of tea. She sipped her tea and admired the brass pot. Then, with a grateful heart, she knelt and embraced it. Dear Pot, I do not know where you came from, but you are my best friend. She stooped over the pot to look inside. At that very moment, Mr. Hot Top returned. His arms were so full of packages that he had to kick the door open. Bang! Mrs. Hot Top was so startled that she lost her balance and fell head first into the pot. Mr. Hot Top ran over and grabbed his wife's legs. He pulled and tugged until she slid out onto the floor. But when he looked at the pot again, he gasped. <gasps> Two more legs were sticking straight out of it. Naturally, he took hold of the ankles and pulled. Out came a second person. She looked exactly like his wife. The new Mrs. Hogtalk sat silently on the floor looking lost. But the first Mrs. Hogtalk cried, I am your one and only wife. Put that woman back into the pot right now. Mr. Hot Talk yelled, no, if we put her back, we will not have two women, but three. One wife is enough for me. He backed away from his angry wife and tripped and fell head first into the pot himself. Both Mrs. Hot Talks rushed to rescue him. Each grasped an ankle, and together they pulled him out. There were two more legs in the pot, so they pulled out the other Mr. Hot Talk, too. Oh, just what use does one Mr. Hot Talk have for another? Mr. Hot Talk cried angrily. This pot is not as wonderful as we thought it to be. Now even our troubles are beginning to double. But his wife had been thinking while he was yelling. Calm down, she said. It is good that the other Mrs. Hawk Talk has her own Mr. Hawk Talk. Perhaps we will become best of friends. After all, we are so alike, he will be a brother to you and she a sister to me. With our pot, we can make two of everything, so there will be plenty to go around. And that is what they did. The Hot Talks built two fine new homes. Each house had identical teapots, rice bowls, silk embroideries, and bamboo furniture. From the outside, the houses looked exactly alike, but there was one difference. Hidden in one house was a big brass pot. Of course, the Hawk Talks were always very careful not to fall into it again. The new Hawk Talks and the old Hawk Talks did become good friends. The neighbors thought that the Hawk Talks had grown so rich that they decided to have two of everything even themselves.